Hi everyone, this is Andy with Bloomer.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to send email notifications automatically using Soho CRM. Let's start. All right, first let me explain what we're going to do. So for this tutorial we're going to use email templates and workflows. And the workflow is going to go like this. If the deal stage changes, then it will check that the stage is estimate and process. And it also going to check that the job type matches some criteria that we're going to assign. And if everything matches, it's going to send an automatic email notification. And this email is going to go to the client and it's going to be from the salesperson. All right, now let's go to Soho. And I'm here in my setup page. So first we have to go to customizations and then click on templates. And here you have to create your email template. If you don't know how to do it, please check out my other video about Soho CRM where I show how to create email templates. In this case, I already have an email template. It's this one right here. And as you can see, it's a really simple email notifying the customer that we're working on the proposal. There are some merge fields in there that are gonna pull information from the CRM. But again, if you wanna know more, please check out my other video. All right, I'm gonna close this window. And once you have your template ready, go to automations and then click on workflow rules. And here we're gonna create a workflow rule. I also have a video about workflow rules in this channel, so feel free to check them out if I'm going too fast on this video. So we're gonna click on create role and select a module. In this case, we're gonna use opportunities. In my company, opportunities and deals are the same. And we're gonna name it, click on next. And now we're gonna create our workflow. So we're gonna do it on a record action. And it's gonna be edit. And we're gonna click here, specific fields, get modified. So when the stage is modified to any value, click on next. And now we're gonna select a condition or filter. So like we said before, we're gonna do a stage is estimate and process. And then we're going to click on this plus button to add another condition. And we're going to do job type is, and here we're going to select a few. All right, we have our conditions ready. Now we're going to click on next. And in instant actions, we're going to notify via email. And here we're going to create a new email notification. So I'm going to click on this button and I'm going to name it. On email recipients, I'm gonna choose the customer email. So in this case, I'm gonna click here. Instead of opportunity, I'm gonna select contact, meaning the contact related to the opportunity. And I'm gonna add this one, the email. And finally, I'm gonna click on save. To add additional recipients, you can type the email here. For example, a manager or any other person that needs to get this email. On email template, we're gonna select template and we're gonna click on the one that we just created. In this case, it's this one right here. And on from, you have different options. You can do it from your email or for organization emails, if you have any. Or in this case, we're gonna do it from the record owner. In my company, the record owner is the salesperson. And like I said before, I want to send this email from the salesperson's email address. So I'm gonna click here. And finally, I'm gonna click on save and associate. And the workflow is ready. Just to recap, this workflow is gonna be triggered when the stage on a deal changes. And then it's gonna check that the stage is estimate and process, and also it's gonna check the job type. So if those two matches, then it's gonna send the email notification. Meaning that if you move the deal to a different stage, it's not gonna send the email notification. All right, let's click on save. And we're good to test it out. So I have an opportunity open already here, and I'm gonna move it to estimate and process. As you can see here, this opportunity is on schedule estimate. And to move it, the only thing I have to do is click on this button here. This view might be different than yours because I have a feature called blueprints on. But to trigger the workflow, the only thing you have to do is move the opportunity to estimate and process. So I'm gonna click on this button. And as you can see here, the opportunity now is on estimate and process. So if we go to the emails tab, we can see that we just sent this email to the opportunity contact. And the source was a workflow alert. And if you click on the timeline, you can also see that a workflow sent an email to the contact related to this opportunity. 
All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and please let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.